and it's me again yes it's me again and it's time for another unboxing so therefore it's time to start another project yep now this particular kit I've actually got two of them yes I've been sent two of them James Morgan sent me one and uh, very very recently there Peter Dean Peter sent me on one as well and it's the uh, it's the Academy 38T Hetzer beautiful job absolutely beautiful job okay uh, late version 135th scale of course and it's the Hetzer now I'm going to do both um, I'm not going to do one after the other I'm going to do one first and in a couple of weeks time then I'm going to do another one and I, but I'm going to do them in two different uh, camouflage schemes this one I'm going to try and do because it gives uh, masks inside it so I'm going to try and do the scheme that's on the box when I say try I'm going to try and the other one then is another scheme that I found online for it and I'm going to do both in the two different schemes okay so um, let's have a look at what's in the box what do you get for your money uh, I've had a look inside it it's quite impressive I must admit um, considering f you know, for an academy kit you get PE um, like I said there's a mask set um, there's two figures and it's a very very nice very very nicely uh, detailed kit indeed so let's get on to the bench and let's have a look at it okay right so here we are so you have to excuse the uh, little circle here that's the uh, be light okay I'll we'll give it up a bit that way you get to see it so there's the box art it gives the um, sort of the uh, ambush camouflage pattern on it and it just happens to be uh, ambushing a Sherman there um, and uh, if anybody has ever watched uh, combat dealers the chap there Bruce Compton he's got one of these in this pattern and a real one not just a model of one he's got an actual real one uh, fine looking job very very uh, very very nice indeed neat looking piece of machinery I wouldn't mind one myself a real one although uh, it would look kind of look funny turning up to walk in one I must admit okay box art just gives us a couple of uh, pictures of what the made up kit is going to look like um, usual gum fear on the sides uh, made in North Korea it's a 2012 model Okay, so it's uh, about seven years old now. That's if you're including this year, 2019. So let's open the top and have a look at what we get inside. We get our instruction booklet and we get a painting marking guide. Okay, um, and we get a spoon up on that as well. Okay, so it's telling us that there's uh, one, two, two of them two of them so that's one two four six seven and two is n nine sprues bit of photo etch we get our decals some thread and they're calling it masking tape okay it's a mask basically paper mask so we've our instructions and we've got our painting guide we'll have a look at them now in detail in a little while We've got our, uh, our parts nicely bagged. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four bags of parts. We've got our decals, decals, transfers, stickers, as Simon would call them. And we've got our mask piece, okay, or our uh, masking tape, as they call it. And then there's the usual, just other little safety paperwork and stuff like that. So we'll start off with this because I have it in my hand. Okay, we've got our decals. Okay, nice and plain. They're in register. They're Academy decals, not too shiny, not too thick by the looks of that. Okay, you can tell sometimes you can see them that they're quite raised, so they seem to be okay. And we've got this, which is our masking sheet. Okay, and these are all kind of laser cut out, and they're bits of yellow masking tape, all cut out into the shapes of the masks. Okay, so I'll put that back into its, uh, its 
plastic. Try not to damage it. Okay, we'll put that away and we get out the first bag of screw. Okay. So like I said, you know my unboxings now at this stage. I just look for look have a quick look at the parts. What's it like? Is there flash? Is there um what's the detail like? What's the plastic like? Simple as that, right? We put this aside. This is our piece of piece of PE. Actually, we'll have a look, quick look at it there. It's our PE, and it's a sort of a, an engine grill, I'd say. It's um, in silver. It's not in your normal brass, so it's in probably stainless steel. And it's our bit of photo etch. Okay. We we'll put that to the side so we won't lose. Actually, I put it into the box so we won't get this. Simple as that. Well done, John. Right, we've got the uh, the tub. And we've got our main top piece. Okay. Now there's some nice rivet detail on that. Okay, as you can see there, rivet detail is quite nice, quite nice, and quite pronounced. So I should take uh, washes and dry brushing and all that very, very nicely indeed. Okay. And we've got our tub, which has got a bit of detail on the bottom. Whether they're escape hatches or whatever, I do not know, but they're there anyway. Okay, so there's our first of our sprues. Plastic is nice, detail is nice, and what else can you say about it? It's a piece of plastic. Just a good so far. Right, in our next bag, we've got two sprues, both identical. So we just have a look at one of them. Okay. Let's put that away. Right. We put one away and we look at the other one. This has got our wheels. Okay, our road wheels and things. Uh, our suspension parts. Parts for our tow rope. And other wheel and uh, that area parts. Okay, so the detail on the wheels well, that looks quite nice. We get no flash or anything. Okay, we got our suspension pieces. Detail is pretty nice on those as well. Got uh, our drive sprocket. Okay, very nice. And we've got some. Are there handles now or what? I do not know. Okay. We've got some more little pieces here. But the detail is quite nice in them. And like I said, look at this rivet detail there. It's nicely raised. So that's going to take a wash very, very nicely. And we've got some nice sort of uh, detail there on the, uh, the tow rope hooks. Now, they're kind of grooved out at one side. So you can put in your bit of string if you're going to use string or if you're going to use picture hanging wire like I use or make your own cables, it'll slot into that quite nicely. Okay, so that is sprue C and you get two of them. Try to make the unboxings nice and short, make them a short video. So if you're contemplating, you know, you're, if you're sort of on your model hobbies or your e-models or wherever you buy your kits from, and you're looking down along the thing and say, hmm, I'm interested in buying that. I see is there any um, unboxings online and, and, and see what, what, what you get inside of it. And that's what I think in unboxing. That's what I look for, you know, in an unboxing. So I said, when I, when I start doing unboxings myself, if that's what I'm looking for in an unboxing, then that's what I'll do. In an unboxing, do what I want to see in an unboxing. I'm not a big pile of spiel telling me, oh, this is such and such a piece with such and such a rivet on it. I don't know, don't care. What's the condition of the plastic? Because I don't know the parts. I'm not an expert. Uh, I don't claim to be an expert. Um, I'm not a professional modeler. And I don't claim to be a professional modeler. I'm a hobbyist. A hobbyist. I enjoy my hobby. I enjoy it, and that's why I do it. Okay. So we've got our machine gun here, which is an NG34. 
says he just after he's saying he's not, uh, uh, not into the specifics but I do know the difference between a 34 and a 42 ok the 34 is the round barrel and the 42 is this kind of a squarish barrel ok so we have a nice MG 40 34 <laughs> he said a 42 nice MG 34 there's some nice detail on it ok um, we've got loads of little parts on this we've got our uh, our sighting goggles there we've got some of our tools and things we've got our figures they're there at the end seem quite nice they're sort of two separate legs two separate arms bodies in one piece and the faces what are the faces like what are the faces like we, we like to see what the faces are like I can bring the light in a bit more like that now will that help there we go so the faces aren't too bad you know they're academy figures some people like them some people don't some people get very uh, anal about the condition of their figures to me once they're figures they're grand and once they're kind of uh, I mean it's down to how you paint them I mean you can go off and spend a fortune and get you know resin figures and hornet heads and all that and can't paint them for shite and then they end up looking like god knows what else like cartoons you know and does it matter then it's down to your own abilities isn't that it it's down to your own abilities but these figures they look nice i must admit they do look nice um some nice detail there on the on the tools the jack is in seems to be in more than one piece two or three piece jack um so the little small parts but the details on them seems quite nice okay I think that's the barrel, is it? Well, there's three of them there, so whether it's the barrel or it gives you a choice of three barrels, I don't know. Yeah, I'd say it's a choice of three barrels because they look so each one looks slightly different. So you might have a choice of three different barrels. We'll find out when we have a look, quick look at the instructions in a few minutes. Okay, so we've got three barrels for it, if that's what they are. But I think that's what they are because they, they, I mean, they're they're bought, they're they're hollowed out and everything. Okay. And you're not going to use all three of them because otherwise it'd be that long and i don't think it's going to be that long so very nice indeed and that is sprue sprue b big b there or not see sprue b and finally our last bag and our last bag is three three sprues in it Two sprues are our tracks, okay, it's link in length. And then they've got separate links and little lengths as well. Okay. So we're gonna have a quick look at them first, our tracks. Okay. Quite simple, they're very nicely detailed. How they go together, we'll find that out in due course. Um if you remember I was doing the uh the Zvezda Panther there recently and the tracks ended up for me they ended up being a load of shite I couldn't do them that isn't to say that you can't do them or other people haven't been haven't been able to do them because they have and I've looked at other pe other people's versions of them and I've seen the tracks done nicely but no matter what I did I couldn't get them to work so I have that shelved for the time being and I'll pick up uh, either a set of rubber tracks or a uh, another track set that will do it so it's not binned it's not binned no 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 never been it um, I mean I might even do it in part of a die as a burnt out tank or something so always save it if you can't do parts of it or whatever but uh, I will get around to it and I will get tracks at some stage for it okay so we've got our nice little raised guard guide horns they're not hollow whether they're supposed to be or not I do not know but they're nice they're very very nice nicely detailed I'm not seeing uh, the ejector pin marks or anything like that and well, they're, they're quite small anyway so seem nice that's part I two of them and there are tracks okay so there we have our gun mantlet piece okay uh, goes into this piece here 
we've got uh, the rear, we've got um, parts of the top of and our little um, side skirts. There we go, our side skirts. So the parts are nice, plastic is nice, there's no um, no flesh on anything that I've seen, even the one there has loads of small parts and I didn't see any flesh or anything like that. Um, and the detail is quite good. So, plastic is nice, and that's the main thing. To do. Okay, on now to the instructions. Okay, and what I look for instructions are they clear? Have they got you know how, much, how many instructions have they got within the one instruction, if you know what I mean? The one step, you know, step one is it a fucking tons in there? A dragon of a hand a habit of doing it, making it very, very complicated, very, very hard to, to sort of figure out. Um, is it booklet form of leaflet? It's, it's a big leaflet. Um, there don't seem to be too many steps in the one, they're nice and clear, nicely big printed. Okay, so there's step one. We're starting with our, our, our lower um, tub. Okay, getting all the suspension parts and things in there okay putting on our wheels it's telling us to put on our tracks at that stage that's up to you or not I don't I put them on later I build them at that stage um, don't connect them up say so don't connect up the centerpiece leave that loose but have them up and you know bend it around use the slower drying glue and hopefully that it'll stay together for me okay we've got the rear building up that then finishing off our top part okay putting our top to our bottom section putting on their side skirts then that's something that will go on say after you've painted your tracks and got them in place and everything else okay um, Yep, it does. It gives you a choice of that says there too, but it gives you three barrels and things. So obviously you have a choice of three barrels. Okay, um, so you got to try to figure out which, which version you're doing has the right barrel. I can't see very. The, the only difference I've seen in any of the barrels, all three barrels, is just the tip. Okay, the tips there are just slightly different. Just a small little bit of difference in them. You have three barrels there anyway, and you use one of them, so you're going to have spare barrels. Okay, and we got our figures then. Nicely detailed machine gun. What do you think when you look at that? It's a nice little uh, machine gun post. And then our painting. Okay, so the instructions in the, for an unboxing and all that. That's the unboxing is done. You we'll just get to see what you get inside in the box. We get our colour call outs, um, they give them in Life Colour, Humbrel, Testers, Revel, Vallejo and uh, Mr. Colour. Okay. Fortunately I use Tamiya paints so I gotta go off and figure out my own. But flat back steel, German grey, sand yellow, dark green, red, brown, fresh, field grey and black. Okay. And the three colour camouflage as we know is the uh, desert yellow or sand yellow dark green and red brown red blue dunkle gelb and all those kind of things so that's the unboxing lads hope you enjoyed that uh, hope it was uh, what you wanted out of an unboxing because like I said that's how I do an unboxing I don't go into too much detail a quick video just to show you what you get in the box ok so that's it it's the uh, Jagdpanzer 38T Hetzer late version from Academy 135th scale and there you go so stay tuned to the channel for build updates on that I'll be getting stuck into that over the next couple of days and I will have a reasonably detailed uh, build update done on that one so enjoy your modeling stay safe be nice to one another and go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it this is John signing off I'll catch you on the next one